Hello and welcome to UPSC Academy. In this video, you would be knowing about the concept of Paris Agreement, which is a part of uh, the topic Environment in UPSC exam. And under Environment, there is a topic called as Climate Change. And there were a lot of agreements made to improve the climate change. And one of the most recent agreements is Paris Agreement. So let's understand the concept of Paris Agreement. So what is Paris Agreement? In short, Paris Agreement is an international agreement to combat the climate change. In November 2015, the governments of 195 nations gathered in Paris, France and discussed a possible new global agreement on climate change to reduce the global greenhouse gas emissions and reduce the threat of dangerous climate change. The Paris Agreement has come out with a 32 page, 29 articles to recognize the historic deal to stop global warming. So what are the aims of Paris Agreement? To keep the global temperature rise this century well below 2 degrees Celsius and pursue the efforts to limit the temperature increase even further to 1.5 degrees Celsius. And finally, strengthen the ability of countries to deal with the impacts of climate change. Some more things you need to understand about Paris Agreement. In UPSC, sometimes they might ask certain questions related to Paris Agreement. So what is Paris Agreement in French called as? It's called as L'Accord de Paris. So what is the main vision of Paris Agreement? So the key vision of Paris Agreement is to keep the global temperatures well below 2 degrees Celsius, which is equivalent to 3.6 Fahrenheit. So rich countries should help poor nations by providing climate finance to adapt to climate change and switch to renewable energy. So what are the other climate change agreements that are predecessors to Paris Agreement? In fact, the Paris Agreement comes under the broad umbrella of UNFCCC, United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. This is the first convention held in 1992 to combat climate change. And the next was the Kyoto Protocol in 1997, which was another major international commitment under UNFCC. And in 2007, there was one more convention on climate change, which was called as Bali Action Plan 2007. And in 2010, 2009, there was a Copenhagen Accord and in 2010, there was a Cancun Agreements. In 2012, there was a Durban Platform for Enhanced Action. And the most recent and a comprehensive climate agreement is Paris Agreement. So, in the history of climate, in the, in the history of uh, agreements for climate change, Paris Agreement holds the key agreement as it is the world's first comprehensive climate agreement. Although developed and developed countries were parties to Kyoto Protocol, developing countries were not mandated to reduce their emissions. This means that Paris Agreement is legally binding to all parties, whereas Kyoto Protocol was not. So these are some of the differences between the Paris Agreement and the Kyoto Protocol. So Paris Agreement was reached on the 21st session of the Conference of the Party called as COP. So when did the Paris Agreement come into force? So the Paris, Paris Agreement came into force on November 4th, 2016. So let's have a recap of what we learned so far. So the Paris Agreement is an agreement within the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, UNFCCC. So the countries will aim to keep the, keep the global temperatures from rising more than two degrees centigrade. And Paris Agreement is only the beginning of a shift towards a low carbon world and there is much more to do. Subscribe to UPSC Academy for more 
conceptual videos on UPSC prelims and mains exams.